Oh, WWE is so hilarious, man. That's so hilarious. <laughs> oh, you know, guys, when you, when you have to sit through a three-hour Raw and you only love, like, five segments, it's kind of bad. Because when we, we had Cruiserweights, which I don't care about. We had Roman Reigns, which I don't, which I definitely don't care about. I can't, I can't stand this. I can't stand this guy. You got, you got, you guys watch my, you guys watch my raw reviews weekly. You know, you know, I hate Roman Reigns with a passion, and I, and I, I hope he gets a one as part of the violation and miss two months because I, I can't stand him. I can't stand the guy. And please, and please, do not even think about letting this guy win the Royal Rumble. I swear. On everything. If this guy wins the Royal Rumble, I will rage as pinnacle as you don't know what on Monday morning. You do not want to see me Monday morning. I don't want to hear that. Please give me a break. Monday evening. Monday evening when I get home, the first thing I'm going to do is hit that record button and rage. For 15 minutes about how this guy is one of the biggest failures in wrestling history. Don't do it to me, WWE. Because I don't want to talk to nobody. Nobody. I'm just going to get my notes together just to rage. If this guy wins the Roy Wimble. Every On everything, guys. I'm dead serious. Give me a break. Awful. God awful. This, this show had nothing of interest on it. It's a Braun Strowman and Broken Matt Hardy. Um, what else would I say on this show? And Oscar and Nia Jax? That's the best thing you can do on a Monday Night Raw? Can Raw 25 get here fast enough so I can see the Undertaker return to see if he's retired? Undertaker! Can I see, can, so I can see Stone Cold, um, who, who else, whoever shows, so, so, Trish Stratus, Lita. With the, with the, with the um, Skull Buster, right? Uh, uh, Michelle McCool, who is still look still looking oh fine, God. by the way, guys. Michelle McCool, <clears throat> even for her age, <laughs> let me not say nothing. <laughs> she, yeah, you better not. Anyway, she. The, 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 the revival. And, and, what else? What else? The revival. Cringe reigns. What else is that in the show? Sonya the villain, Sasha Banks. Are you, are you kidding me? This, this, this is what I get on Monday Night Raw when I had the Cavs and Warriors play. This is the best you give me, WWE. He Slater and, and and Matt Hardy, are you are you are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Even even the interest was great. Ross and Finn Balor, eh, it was good. I enjoyed it. Um, other than that, this show was awful. This show was trash. I can't wait until I watch twenty five. To be honest, I cannot wait. Let, let's go over this, man. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Cole Train back with the video. That's all my uh, my all, always intro to Raw and SmackDown. Very very late Raw and, Raw, Raw review because um because Ma, because Michaela Train wants to be in there. Say hello to the people, Michaela. Hi people. Link to her channel will be in the description down below because she is starting her own YouTube channel up, and I will be helping her in to be gloriously fashion. It's the Couples Channel, guys. Soon to be, um yeah, soon to soon be, to be. But couple. it's technically a couple channel. So th that's what's gonna be happening with that. We, we I hope we hopefully we can shoot the welcome video tonight. If not, it'll be shot tomorrow, and, and then it will be up Thursday. There you go. It will be shot tonight. Thank you very much. Thursday. Tonight. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go over this pathetic and garbage show, and I'm gonna get out of here as quickly as possible. Um, and then and then that's that's all that's gonna be happening. So. Appreciate you guys for sticking with me, man. Sorry about connection issues with WWE stream. I was very, very angry and displeased with myself. Um, that's personal problems. You guys don't know you know about that anyway. And that's why we couldn't do the raw review earlier than expected. So that's why I'm, I'm doing this at 9.30 at night. And I'm going to upload this at 10 o'clock at night. And it's going to be up so you guys can see it. Smacking Live review will be coming tomorrow with another video as planned tomorrow. I got something special for you guys tomorrow. Um, and uh, also streams will be on normally scheduled. But let's get into, the, get into this video, man. Because uh, also I got some news on Jimmy Uso apparently being arrested for DUI. DUI! What's a DUI? What's that? Drinking, drinking under the influence. Why you, why you driving? DUI! Interesting. We'll, 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 we'll go over that um, on tomorrow. Braun Strowman apparently got fired to kick things off on Monday Night Raw. 
Friendly Fresh Marina Sides following Stormy's actions a week ago, which was the best part of Monday Night Raw, by the way, guys, because everything else with Lester and Kane was cringe. I I I I don't even know I don't even know how you guys. When I heard this announcement that Braun Strowman got fired, I was scared that WWE was gonna do Kane and Brock Lesnar one on one at the Universal Championship. I I got I got I so was gonna win. I, I I got so scared that Kane might win the Universal Championship. I I almost threw up in my mouth. It was bad. Yay! God, it was that was awful. <sighs> anyway, singer most sing that we could go. When he most single-handedly in ended the careers of both Lester and Kane, which I hope he, which I hope he did, by the way. Kane especially. Get him on my TV. Angle kicked things off this week on the show with a shocking announcement. After Strowman informed Angle that he will do whatever he wants, General Manager made the tough decision of announcing to the world Strowman will be will be not be competing at the World Women be, because the Universal Championship match is no longer a triple threat bout. Furthermore, the Mohammed Strowman was fired from Raw. Strowman stood down angry and a man see man that suggested that she he, that he will be making making be making the Olympic, the Olympic gold medals and WWE Hall of Famers nights a living hell. Best part of best best part of the night and that was a great way to kick things off Monday Night Raw with Braun Strowman because Braun Strowman is awesome because if you if, if you're not a Braun Strowman fan something is wrong with you or you haven't watched in six months or I don't know who that or, is. Or, or, or or maybe two years. The guy is awesome. I don't know who that is. Then we had Titus. Road way! This is my dogs right there. Versus the bar. <laughs> Even though Apollo Crews is completely wasting his time with Tyson and doing absolutely nothing on Monday Night Raw, the guy is being put, totally wasted. If he was on SmackDown Live, he could have easily been in, in, in the United States Championship Tournament, which would have made things unpredictable. But no, WWE wants to put him with Tyus O'Neal. Great job, WWE. No wonder you were at least Darren Young for no reason because you had nothing else for him. Wait, wait, what is Apollo Crews next? But apparently they're getting a push. They're getting a push, ladies and gentlemen, because they defeated the bar once more at a distraction from Jason Jordan. Tyus will about to defeat the bar again. Again, why is why this why this on my TV for two straight two straight weeks in the world? Oh, I know why. Because WWE has no tag teams. Great job. Again, same as from last week. Tyson there rolled them up again. And uh, the 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 ties were well got the victory. Then we had cruiserweights or um or bathroom breaker you call it, guys I like to call it. Um, uh, Cedric Alexander versus Tony Nese. This was a decent match, but it, but do I care about the cruiserweights? Of course I don't. You you know you guys know that already. It's Vince McMahon driven cruiserweight match, but it, but no, you couldn't put the cruiserweights in NXT though. Why not Vince? Because why why couldn't NXT put to have the cruiserweights and to make NXT better? They would have been much much better in Full Sail Arena, Full Sail University than sitting here in garbage on Monday Night Raw. But no, I'm not the one. I'm not the one running the show. It's Vince McMahon. He needs to and go. And Triple H and Stephanie. No, he no Vince makes Vince makes more more decisions and uh, Triple H and Stephanie they run NXT. Vince runs Raw and SmackDown. He made, uh, oh, he, he has the final say. Alexander defeated Tony Nice in a match that you guys and you and me did not care about. Braun Strowman Warpath. This was this was the second best part of the night. Finally, finally, finally his firing from Raw to kick things off. Strowman went on a Warpath that saw him tear up lock, locker rooms, the mouse office, and talking to WWE production trucks. Kevin Dunn. <laughs> He was about to overturn the tractor trailer that attached the wrestling trailer when anger arrived. The GM managed to draw Strowman off the scene, but not before the monster man roared and tipped over the truck, tipped truck over, only to the only one anger out of the raw stage and meddled and, and manhandled the comment to the Michael Cole. <laughs> Mike, Michael Cole got destroyed. <laughs> that was great. That was great because Michael Cole's annoying. He, he's bearable, but he's not that good. During the slam call, Stormin momentarily listened to the reason as he was rehired by Stephanie Man via an angle announcement. He put a exclamation point on his action by slamming Cole off the stage and went to a pile of security guards to Cole close on the segment. Michael Cole is a great seller, guys. He is a great seller. Whenever, whenever, he, never, whenever he gets thrown or F5, he sells it great. Him man's great. Then we had probably one, of, probably one of the most intriguing matches of the day because 
you, you would think WWE might end Oscar undefeated streak by having to lose to the monster Nia Jax, but that did not happen. Oscar defeated Nia Jax via a referee stoppage. Apparently, Oscar got that um scored and with a point when it could not continue. She had uh interesting one far back in the match though, delivering a kick to the back of her opponent's leg that injured the imposing competitor. Choppy Nia Jax down like a California Redwood. <laughs> Oscar was able to score the win when her opponent could not continue. So, I think that was best for WWE to keep Nia Jax and uh, Oscar strong. But we'll see what happens in the, in the next coming weeks. Hopefully, Oscar will win the Women's Royal Women since Paige's career might be over. The Revival in action, and, 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 and they cut a great promo, and I love the Revival, man. The the uh the the revival were awesome and I and I'm I'm so glad they're back in the in in the ring, man. It saves this terrible division that Money Night has. It was great. Then we had the the point when I fell asleep because I was like Roman Reigns is on my TV and it's, it's time for me to fall asleep. Reigns versus the Mr. Raj. Did you care that this was a classic John Cena comeback? Blah blah blah. Same old same old from Money Night from from um. From uh, Roman Reigns. Did you care? Of course you didn't. He defeated the Mr. Rogers. What do you expect? Of course, WWE not going to give him the Mr. Rogers, the Mr. Rogers a win. This is Roman Reigns. This is their golden boy. Johnson at 2.0. Absolutely disgusting, man. I, I can't stand the guy. Really can't. Sonya Deville versus Sasha Banks. Uh, I didn't care. And Sonya Deville actually scored a victory over Sasha Banks. So they're pushing Sonya Deville. Yeah. She's being pushed, guys. She she defeated Sasha Banks. Great win by Sonya Deville, man. I really didn't watch the match, but um, I uh, I went back and rewatched it on via DVR. That's why that's that's why the DVR money I watched. So you guys can go back and rewatch it and then and then and then and then do these reviews. Then we have Woken Matt Hardy. Delete, delete, delete. That's my that's my dog right there. Versus Heath Slater, man. The only thing, main thing is, was was Matt Hardy entrance, which was glorious, man. And speaking of glorious, we'll be, we'll be talking about Bobby Roode tomorrow. Uh, as Smack and Light went off the air, we, we have a new United States champion. I'll go over who who will it be, as you guys will see in my uh, title below. You guys know how much I love Bobby Roode so much. I love him so much. He's awesome. And as Hardy defeated Heath Slater in, 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 a, in a good match to show off Matt Hardy, the only main thing about this was that was that Matt Hardy showed his new Titan Tron, which was awesome. Then we had Ronza Finn Balor. The curb stomp, guys, is back, ladies and gentlemen. The curb stomp got is back as Ronza defeated Finn Balor in the middle of the ring to, uh, to end Monday Night Raw. That was your Raw Monday Night Raw review, guys. We hope you guys enjoy. I will leave a link to uh my uh my couple's uh, soon to be couple's channel that I'm creating with Michaela, um in in, in, in the description uh box and in the comments section of this video. So make sure you guys go subscribe to my channel if you if you love that couple's things. If you do not, stay here and and, and uh watch me be glorious at everything I do. Basically, all you gotta do, man. I'm Cold Chain. Sorry for late upload. Who SmackDown Live will be up 11 a.m. My time, ladies and gentlemen, after I, uh, if, if we have snow on the ground, playing the snow, uh, if, if I do that anyway, I probably won't, because I'm, I'm not getting pneumonia from D3 Challenge. Yeah, yeah, guys, there, there, there's such thing as the D3 Challenge where you go outside in your underwear, and then you play in the snow. You, you just dive in the snow. You, you, you think I'm doing that? Of course I'm not, because I'm, cause I'm, cause I'm not doing that. After well, it, 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 well, if it, it, if I go outside and play the snow, I will go. I'll go outside and, and then after that, if not, I'll come in here do my raw spot the line review for you guys, and then I'll get the day started with streams. But yeah, man, if that happens, I'll do that. But if not, it's probably not gonna happen. So and then that, after that, I will uh, come back in and do my spot the line review, and I'll see you guys in that video. Thank y'all so much for all the support. Roll to 120 subscribers. Woo! Talk to you guys in the next one.